Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the movie Chappie. I had intended on recording this video last night, however, we had a really crazy evening after we left the theater. So if you don't know what Chappie is, it is a movie directed by, and I'm so sorry if I butcher your name, um, Neil Blom Blomkamp. He also directed, um, actually I believe he also wrote it, as well as uh, he directed District 9 and Elysium. Coffee time. Check this out. It's my uh, Star Fox coffee mug. Chappie is actually based on a short film that he did in 2004 called Tetra Val. Val? V A A L. Chappie is actually played by Charlto Copley. Yes, he plays uh, Chappley. Chappley? What? What is that? Chap E. He was also a part of uh, District 9 and Elysium. Joining him is Dev Patel. He played Dion Wilson, who was uh, an AI engineer, or an engineer, I guess, who actually built or created Chappy and Chappy like robot. If you don't know who Dave, Dave, why do I keep messing up these names? If you don't know who Dev Patel is, he uh, was the lead actor in Slumdog Millionaire. Joining him, Ninja and Yolandi, I believe is how she was pronouncing it in the movie. They actually play themselves. Uh, if you don't know who Ninja and Yolandi are, they are actually a part of. Uh, a band that I hope I get the name right. I believe they're like rap, uh, kind of like club music, I guess is what it would be. Antagonist of the movie was Hugh Jackman. He played Vincent Moore. If you don't know who Hugh Jackman is, I have no idea where you've been. But he's been in basically every X-Men, X-Men related movie, as well as many other movies, but let's just be honest. I know him from X-Men. Spoilers, guys. If you haven't seen it, just stop right now. Okay, so Chappie is about this guy who develops the who who developed these robots. Um and he actually spends his free time actually trying to code artificial intelligence. Taking him quite a long time. Chappie starts out as all these just the same as all these other robots. They're um police robots, I guess. Uh they go out and you know, they kind of like are the front lines for the police. Chappie, he he keeps getting damaged. He it's when you first see him uh, they're bringing him in to be repaired. He, they say he's, he looks like he's been ran over. He, um, he gets, like, so damaged. Uh, cause he, like, gets shot in the chest. And so it fuses his battery. So he gets decommissioned. He's, uh, rejected. The guy finally gets the artificial intelligence finished, fixed, coded correctly, whatever. And, uh, he realizes he can use that robot. I don't know. <laughs> It's part of the questionnaire, so I'm not entirely sure how much I should tell you. But I guess I can tell you my part. So one of the questions was... That was a storyline. That one was kind of hard for me to give a grade for. <clears throat> so there is uh, some things about the movie that were kind of cheesy or corny, whichever word you use. So it brought it down for me. So I ended up giving it uh, a 3, 4. What did you think of the CGI? I thought it looked amazing. At no point did I ever feel like it was a man. It, uh, well, I guess not a man. I mean, he's kind of supposed to be a man. So never did I imagine it was like a man with white or with balls on him <laughs> or however they ended up doing it. I couldn't decide how I felt about it, but Ninja and Yolandi, as I had said earlier, they, they're a part of a band. Basically, all music in the movie was their music or at least music that sounded like theirs, but I'm pretty sure it was their music. It didn't ruin the movie. It was great music. <clears throat> it fit the scenes perfectly. Brought to my attention that this is supposed to take place in the future, in which case, you know, they very well could have been their musicians who they are because they played themselves in the movie. And, the, you know, something happens. They, like, lost everything and they had to resort to a life of crime. I guess my overall rating for the movie, um, 6.5, 7-ish, um, you should go watch it. And if you do, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts on the movie. Don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to check out more on what I have to say about this movie, uh, you can check out our blog at badpairstudios.com as well as uh, the podcast on terriblydisappointing.com. I will see you guys later. Bye.
Hey guys, today I'm a really weird piece of hair right there. It looks like a mustache. It's like actually perfect right there. Hmm. 